welcome back to Jesse at home in today's video I'm sharing with you the transformation of my living room this footage right here is from April of 2020 and this is when we moved in it was very brown walls we have some outdated speakers in the corner we have carpet on the floor we have that weird alcove space um, by the built-in over there where the TV is so in July of 2020, we painted the ceiling and we put a fresh coat of agreeable gray on all the walls. We deep cleaned the carpets and um, just kind of lived with the space for a while to see, you know, what, what kind of furniture placement we wanted, how we wanted to use the space. Um, I always recommend living in a space before just throwing a bunch of money at it, just because you never know and you might want to change your mind. Um, in December or November of 2020 we also decided to enclose that weird spot in the living room we do plan to put a actual fireplace in there but I wanted a place to hang my stockings so we did a DIY faux fireplace just to kind of cover up that hole and make it look a little bit better um, you know it is a fake fireplace it is what it is but it did its job now in March and April of 2021, we finally decided it was time to get rid of this beige carpet and rip it up and put new flooring in. And we are doing a complete makeover in here, new furniture, new decor, new everything. So I'm really, really excited to share the whole process with you. You got that something, baby, that I can go without just like a poison in me. You're all that I'm about. I cannot believe how much black, nasty, like dirt and dust was underneath of the carpet. The carpet was 15 years old, so I guess it was to be expected, but that really, really shocked me. They also had installed a floor outlet, but it wasn't to code. It wasn't the proper floor outlet. So when we ripped up the carpet, we decided to go ahead and put down the proper floor outlet so that we could have some lamps in the middle of the room. And we have been loving having that, um, like be safe and not a fire hazard um, also my husband accidentally uh, hurt his finger during the living room process so what should have been uh, like it maybe a two-day process of putting this laminate flooring down took an entire week because he really cut his finger badly on the table saw so you're gonna see multiple days of us working and trying to get this done with his uh, hurt finger but we carried on the kids were such a huge huge help they wouldn't let me get down because currently I am 30 weeks pregnant and so basically I just um, kind of made sure to watch the pattern of the floor and I did some cuts of my own out on the table saw but I wasn't allowed to get down and lay any floor my son and my husband really took up most of that job and my daughter did a really good job of um, just being like the errand girl and helping out it really was a family project
We decided to do a laminate flooring throughout the main floor. We went with the LL flooring uh, lumber liquidators. They've changed their name recently. It's the Dream Home XD Delaware Bay Driftwood Laminate Flooring. And um, there's different ways to install it. This one had the padding attached. It didn't need a vapor barrier or any other padding underneath of it. Um, I really like the variation. It's, it's a light flooring, but it also has kind of uh, knots and, and different kind of colors throughout it. It blends the dog hair and the cat hair into the floor. It's easy to clean. It has like a matte textured finish versus a high gloss finish. Feels good underfoot. Um, it doesn't make any clacking noises when you walk on it. Uh, it's pretty thick and um, very, very easy to install. After a week of working after work to get the installation done, it looks so good. Um, we went around and did the transition pieces, a new quarter round, I painted the baseboards. I didn't show any of that just because it was very, very tedious to do and we just kind of did it here and there. But once the floors were done, we were ready to get some furniture back in here and enjoy it. So I'm laying out my new rug pad for my new rug and we're going to bring in the furniture. I'm super excited about this because um, I ordered furniture from Wayfair like in December and they said it wouldn't be here till mid-April but it actually I think it ended up coming end of February beginning of March. So I have been waiting to use the new furniture that I bought. It's been in Outback wrapped up in our shop so in this video is the first time that I actually get to unwrap it and actually see it and I immediately fall in love because I am just so happy with my choice. This rug is from Amazon. I wanted to bring some color in here because the floors are beige, the walls are beige, the curtains are white. Um, I just wanted to bring a pop of color in here and doing it with the rug um, is the easiest way to do that. Um, the rug was very inexpensive so if later on I just I'm over all the colors I can easily change it out. It took me such a long time to find the perfect size sectional for in here. I wanted an L shape. I did not want one with the chase. I needed to be a specific size to fit between the windows and it wouldn't stick out too far so we could put a recliner in there and Wayfair definitely came through for me. It is a lighter couch but it seems very easy to clean. It's super comfortable and I'm not really worried about having a light couch with kids and a dog. You know like I want to look at pretty things. I want to live my life and um you know, I have a cleaning channel, so cleaning up after everybody is part of my job as a mom, as a YouTuber, so we will figure out the light couch situation. I just like how light and bright it is in here, and I love that this chair is going to be easy to wipe down as well. 
Um, I bought some tables and some furniture off of Amazon and of course my husband got to watch some TV and put it all together for me. This is the fun part where I put everything, you know, together. We have the basics in there, and now I'm just gonna kind of layer pieces in, um, like lamps and decor, and everything. So um, later on in the video, I will walk through and tell you exactly where I got each and every single piece. But for now, let's have some fun um, decorating this space. I wanted to add some color to the couch, so I picked up these throw pillows from Home Goods and this throw blanket from Home Goods as well. I decided to pick up that tealy light blue seafoam green, like blue color, sea glass color from the rug. The rug has a variety of colors to choose from. It's going to be awesome. Um, I think it has like an orange, a navy, a yellow. Um, the seafoam, the teal looking color in there. So I just picked the lighter color to add on to the couch. I can't wait to totally redo this whole TV wall. We are going to be adding a gas fireplace in here at some point, I keep saying. Um, but things just keep getting delayed and the flooring was more important than a fireplace at this point. A fireplace is a want, not a need. We needed new flooring. So I'm just going to um, enjoy like having this area to decorate. I wanted to add this blanket blanket ladder over here to kind of balance out the bookshelf on the other side um, and I think it helps like for the vertical to fill the vertical space and also not have this wall so empty and we didn't want like a little table or something over there so this is a nice way to display um, a blanket and some flowers and um, you know some art we added the W up there to balance out the top of the bookcase and that like weird niche above the TV so it kind of all works out. I got some matching um, pictures from Home Goods, and I hung each of them above these little um, accent console tables and I put some pretty little decor on there and it just looks a lot better than if you've been with me for a while you knew that I had two tall red cherry bookcases back here and that was just not it. That was not it for the space. Um, I also had plans to do a DIY on these consoles. Um, I love the shape of the detail on the glass, but I really wanted a mirrored front um, table, but all of them were so expensive. So what I did was I bought matching ones with clear glass off of Amazon, and I decided to take the glass out and do a um, 
what was intended to be a mercury glass DIY on there. It didn't really turn out as mercury glass, but it did turn out to be more of like an aged um, mirror glass look and I'm really happy with how it turned out even though it wasn't exactly what I had planned. So I went ahead and cleaned all the glasses off and then I'm going to use the Rust-Oleum mirror effect and it took three coats to give it a good um, solid look because I didn't want you to be able to see through the glass and then it said to take some water and vinegar and sprinkle on but I think I waited too long for it to dry. I think I should have done it when the last coat was a little bit um, more damp or I should have put the um, should have put it on the first coat and then added more mirror effect I'm not sure it did kind of mess up the mirror and like make it look aged but it didn't have that mercury glass effect that I was kind of going for but I still love the end result and I can use it to store all our board games in there without you seeing um, like all the names like Monopoly and Cards Against Humanity and all that through the glass. So really happy with the little DIY. Um, I like saving money and it was fun to try something new. Before I do the little walkthrough and tell you where I got everything and you know my thoughts on the space, I wanted to do a nice clean mopping. We have tons of dust and renovation mess still kind of settling in, so I'm just using some hot water vinegar and my um, oak cedar mop to shine up these floors. But like I said, it is a matte finished floor, so the shine doesn't last forever, but it does get it uh, do it a good job of getting it clean. And I really um, love having these mop socks because um, it helps me not have to bend down and scrub. I just use my mop socks and my foot to give any little stubborn spots a good scrub. time for the final walkthrough of my living room and I absolutely love it. It feels like home now. So the floors are from Lumber Liquidators LL Flooring. Um, I really like them. We installed them throughout most of the main floors in the house. We still have the tile in the kitchen but this is running through um, all the public living spaces. This rug is from Amazon. It's very bright. I could have went maybe a little bit bigger on the size, but we're also dealing with the floor outlet over there. So I could have maybe went another foot bigger, but I really like how it defines the couch area. It was really inexpensive. So if for some reason I'm like over all the color, I can easily change it out. The two end tables and the round coffee table is a set. It's also from Amazon. Um, I really like the distressed wood top on it and I like the black accents. The side tables are a little bit smaller than I originally thought because online ordering, but I think it fits the space really well. Actually, I really do like how small this table is, so you could still use this door if you wanted to. We never use this door, but if for some reason we need to come in and out, it, it, it doesn't really block it too much. The couch is from Wayfair. I needed a very specific size couch. I really wanted to do a sectional in here, so Wayfair was the way to go. The new recliner is also from Wayfair. I really like the brown leather look in here and it'll be easier to clean. Um, we had a fabric one in here, but my husband's hands just ruined it because he is a hardworking blue collar guy. 
And even if he washes his hands a million times, there's always going to be some kind of grease or something on it. But I really like this setup in here. This lamp is actually from Walmart and it has a USB. That was one of my husband's requests. He really wanted a lamp with a USB. Um, I could not find another one of those that I liked in Home Goods. So I ended up getting these lamps back here from Home Goods and it has the black pole with the glass around it. Um, so I feel like these lamps don't need to match, but they're definitely complementary to each other. This pillow, these pillows came with the couch and these are from Home Goods, as is the throw. This wicker basket is from Marshalls, I believe. This little tin is from TJ Maxx, I've had it forever, with some lamb's ear. This little candle, I think it's Cotton Blossom, is from Marshalls as well. This big gather sign I've had forever, it is actually from Sam's Club and I think it was only $20. The two um, bud vases on the sides have been all over my house. Those are from Hobby Lobby like a couple years ago and they have some lamb's ear in it. This tiered tray I got on sale from Walmart. And I just filled it with some fake hydrangeas and kind of just made it look really pretty and springy. And because this new couch is taller, the console table that we made back here with uh, a one by six and some two by fours was a little short. So I just added this um, pedestal that I picked up on clearance from Hobby Lobby, just so you can kind of see the tiered tray back there. I didn't want to put another lamp here because I felt like we really didn't need it, the two back there. Um, so I just dressed it up with a little candle and some like home design books and a little fake plant. The curtains and curtain rods are from uh, Amazon and these are white blackout curtains. The back of the curtains are lined in black and it really helps with that fierce afternoon sun that we get, especially in the summer. It gets really, really bright in here and really hot in here so it really does help. This area really hasn't changed much. We did paint everything a while ago but I just have some candlesticks up top pictures of my two babies <laughs> in the middle and then just some you know light decor down here and up top I have a lantern some tobacco baskets and just some filler vase filler just something to fill this the void up there and of course we have our fake DIY fireplace we are planning on totally revamping this wall. Um, I don't know if it'll be this fall or maybe in the spring, depending on how you know life with a newborn goes. But we are planning on bricking this area up and putting in a fireplace in here, and it's going to look totally different. I really miss having an actual fireplace. We had one in our previous home. I just hung that W, or my husband hung that W, really, really high to kind of balance this area and then we just have this ladder rack um, <laughs> this blanket ladder there we go we have this blanket ladder that I made a couple years ago I did this myself and we have a blanket from um, home goods this is just a Ray Dunn hanging plant planter with some lamb's ear and a little let's stay home plaque because how appropriate this I need to actually put some pictures up down this hallway. Um, my husband and son requested no table here or nothing to impede the walkway, which I understand. So we just have this family picture, which obviously we're going to have to update when we get the little baby coming in June. And <laughs> my mom got me this for Christmas, and you're supposed to fill it with family pictures, but for now it's just filled with farm life that came with the um, picture frame. I think when the baby gets here, we do, we do some family pictures, I will fill it up then. If you have been here with me for a while, I always had trouble with this sort of two small walls beside the kitchen arch. And I had two big bookshelves, but they were just way too heavy for the space. So I'm really happy with this pair of pictures and I love the little console tables. I'm going to be putting um, our favorite board games in there and just using it for storage. I mirrored the doors so that we could have hidden storage in there and I really love the way that this whole space turned out. 
Like I said, this picture um, came in a two pack and it is from Home Goods. It's very, it's actually quite large. I don't know if you can tell. Um, this little vase, this like earthen vase, also came from Home Goods. This is just a little reed diffuser from Walmart and it's in the cotton scent to complement the candle. And then this is from Amazon. I wanted an inexpensive console table back here so I could put some things up top but also have um, some hidden storage. This side also has um, the matching picture. And then this big vase I've had forever. I think I got it from Marshalls or Home Goods. This little um, figural is from the Dollar Tree, and this is from Marshalls and the matching console table. And this rug I got from Amazon, and it matches, um, or complements, I should say, the bigger rug, the blues, and I like how big it is so that we can kind of catch any dirt that might come in. We also got this big um, ceiling fan from Lowe's. We installed that last summer and I just really love how um, huge it is. It moves a lot of wind and it just looks really nice. Thank you so much for watching my video. The befores and afters are pretty extreme in my opinion. I'm so happy with how everything turned out. We do have a couple more rooms that we are getting to finish before the baby comes. So if you love home renovations, if you love room makeovers, definitely hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my uploads. I'm here for you.